Hello, my name is Equoia. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sacks. I'm here today to do a review on this Butter 13 unit. But before we get into that, if this is your first time joining me here at Silky Sex, I want to say thank you so much for hitting this thumbnail and welcome here. We do wig reviews, we give you hair tips, we do hair tutorials, product reviews every Monday and Friday. So if you're into that kind of thing, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why not? It is free. And then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video because you don't want to miss it. We be coming with what's the latest, okay? So hit that button. And if you're watching over on Facebook, hey, we love you over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share. And then on both platforms, you guys, comment down below so I know you are here. And let's talk about it. Do you have Butter Lace 13? Have you tried any other units? Do you like them? Do you like this one? Let's go ahead and have a conversation about it down in the comments and last but not least every single video i love to send a shout out to my silky chicks that is what i call my subs so today's shout out is going to pretty face t pretty face t is a fellow youtuber she also does wig reviews she does makeup and fashion she is a all around beauty channel the link to her channel will be down in the description box so go ahead and check her out and let her know that Silky Sacks sent you. So now without further ado, let's get into why you hit that thumbnail. Let's go ahead and talk about Butter 13. So this is Butter 13. She is part of Sensational's Butter Lace Units. You guys, I'm loving these newer Butter Lace Units. Last week, I reviewed Butter Lace 14 and I love, love that one. This one, um, I'm loving it too. I got this one actually in the same color, this balayage chocolate. It's really pretty. I actually wanted to try another color, but the other colors are selling out super quick. So I'm glad that I got this because I would have chosen a lighter color, but these brown, okay, don't sleep on the balayage chocolate. So like the rest of the butter lace units um, are the ones that are coming out lately. This one has the HD lace. She is pre-plucked. Um, she takes heat. She has a wider part, which I do agree with, the ear-to-ear -ear lace. And then, of course, you know, the lace on this one is a, a easier melt than, you know, your typical um, lace front wig. Um, now, it says that the natural density, there's a natural density on the hairline. If you're really a stickler about that, I don't know. I feel like the hairline is okay. I feel like if you're really into hairlines, it could be plucked more. Now, the way I um, style the unit and the way the unit falls kind of over the front, you really don't have to have a perfect hairline. But if you're going to pull it back and do some styles and do some things with it, then you definitely are going to probably want to go in and um, pluck that a little bit more but she blends in super well i like the density on this one the density is nice and the color okay the color is giving outre a little bit of a rivalry i feel like with these colors these colors are on point so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get into the unboxing and styling and the pros and cons of this unit so stay to the end so you can get all that information and what if i told you there are things that you're doing to your wig right now that is destroying it would you want to know you probably would that is why we put together a free pdf giving you tips on five things that you could be doing right now that is destroying your wig. So check out the description box as well as some other goodies that are all down there. All right. And now without further ado, go ahead and watch to the end and let me know what you're thinking of this unit. All right. So here it is. This is Butter 13. So let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here she is out of the package, super soft. It says it's made of a premium fiber, and it is there. Not a lot of tangling as I'm running my fingers through. We definitely have some baby hair. And then let's look at that HD lace. So this one is a little bit um, more tinted. It's not as white as some of the other HD laces I've seen. And then this parting is wide like it says so let's go ahead and get into uh, the kids that so got that parting here on the side the two combs here on the side and then you have the comb in the back and the typical adjustable straps so let me put these in and then we will go ahead and put butter 14 in one
All right, so she has a lot of room, you guys. She is definitely big head friendly. Liking these curls already. Um, and I like, you know, this is a good, a good length. So let's go ahead and get into that 360. So here is butter 13 in the front. Butter 13 to the right. Butter 13 to the left. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. I'm going to style her up, give you my pros, cons, final thoughts, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I am back from styling Butter 13. She cute, cute, so let's get into it. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and cut the lace off. The lace on this one isn't as white as some of the other HD laces that I've tried. And this one has um, a little bit of a darker tint than what I remember on some of the other butter units. So it didn't take a lot of work. However, I did go in and spray it with my Even Tint Spray. I would recommend that you go ahead and do some spraying, some makeup or something to tint the lace to the color of your skin because these butter units you know, the lace is definitely meltable and you will see the lace if you don't um, melt it. And then, um, as always, with HD lace, I always have my black stocking cap on because you can see the line of demarcation really well with a nude cap under this HD lace for some reason. So, like I said, have my black cap on, went ahead, tinted the lace with my even tint spray, put this bad boy on, she fits well, so if you don't want to um, glue her down, you can definitely go ahead and use a wig fix or a wig grip to hold her in place. Then I went in with my Lotta Body Mousse. The way this hair is styled, you know how it kind of comes down and around in your face, you just get a lot of frizzes and frays, and especially because it's a color synthetic wig, so I put it um, in my hands and used my fingers to just spread it throughout, then went ahead and finger combed her out. I did get a little bit of tangling, some shedding, but not a lot for it to be a synthetic lace wig, but you definitely get some tangling and some shedding. And then I went in with my boar brush and just brushed her out to get the curls to kind of uh, flow together and kind of clump together because the curls were kind of sparse to me. Um, and as you can see, they look really good. I love this volume that it's giving. Then um, I went in the hairline you know, it's okay. If you're really a stickler, you could probably go back in and do some more plucking. I didn't, but I didn't want to spray it all the way down, but I did just spray it here, right here down so that it wouldn't be flapping. And so I went in with my bedhead spray, my Ratu comb, sprayed it down, held it down, um, and that's it. So you don't have to do that. I just did that because the way that I combed it up and like flipped it, I wanted it to be laid down so that you know I wouldn't be clockable so I did that and then I went in with my hot comb because to me she was still a little poofy in the crown so I put some heat in there so I went in with my silky socks hot comb and just combed down um the top of it and the sides of it I had a piece in the back y'all a piece in the back it was just acting like she did not want to come together so I had to get her together put some heat in there uh, put some heat in to just like pull it up just a little bit to give it this that waterfall kind of style and then I did put a little bit of heat on the side because it wasn't laying down here. And then I took and put a little baby hair here from the wig to just lay it down so that could be flat and look a little bit more seamless. And then last but not least, I went in with my Fit Me powder to just open up the part a little bit more um, because this wig, the knots, I noticed in the part were kind of dark for some reason. I'm not sure why. And then that was it. So you guys... I'm liking this one, so let's get into the pros and the cons. Pros. You know, these last few butter lace wigs are winners, and this one to me is going right up there with the rest of it. This one is a winner. I like this one. I like the color on it. Very beautiful. I like the style. I think she's a really nice um, style. I like how, you know, the volume is at the bottom. To me, she gives that old Hollywood glam kind of feel. You know I'm a righty, so I love me a right deep side part and I like that it's kind of swooped instead of like perfectly straight because that to me brings more realness to it. Um, I think that she is pretty easy to put on. I mean for her to have all the bells and whistles of you know baby hairs and this is an Avatis, she was pretty easy to put on in style. So yeah pretty good there. So let's go ahead and get into the cons. 
For the cons, you guys, I don't really have a lot. Um, the lace, you are going to have to put some makeup on the lace. So if you're not one who wants to do like tinting and makeup, then you not, might not be interested in this. But you will have to put a little makeup in the lace, especially in the part, because those uh, knots were kind of dark and, um, and you will be able to clock them. And then um, a little bit of tangling and shedding, but I mean... That's really not that big of a deal. This is a synthetic wig. So those will be my pros and cons. And of course, when I take this wig off, I'm not gonna put it back into the plastic bag that it came out of. I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wigs, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting back on the shedding, tangling, and matting that your wig would do if you were to paste it back into the plastic, in a box, in a drawer, on your wig stands, or whatever you're placing it in. You wanna make sure that you are protecting them, so please, if you're interested in silk sex, check out the link in the description box to the website. It will be there. You can find out what other products we have for sale. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember, better care is better wear, and I hope to see you again on Monday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.